Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. Today we got another episode of maintenance that you can do yourself at home. And uh, we're going to keep this one super simple. I'm going to keep these episodes really short, guys, so that it makes it easier for you guys to find it on the library every time you want to look at it. So today we're going to tackle the cabin air filter and the engine air filter. I know you must be saying to yourself, oh my god what kind of video is this there are people out there that don't know and you know what we're gonna make sure that you at home are gonna save yourself some uh money because you're gonna by the end of this video you're gonna be able to do the filters yourself and you might actually learn a couple of tips along the way so with the hood open on your forerunner what you want to do is you want to go to the left side of your engine and this is where you will find your engine air filter. Uh, trick with this guy, nothing crazy. You got four of these little tabs. They keep it in place. The other one is somewhat hidden, but you can still see it right there. So once you pop those four open, you will then expose the filter. All right, guys. So again, you got your four tabs, nothing to with. The other one back there you lift the box up you don't have to loosen that up you can sneak this filter right out like so and you lay it down now you might ask how do i know if this filter is dirty well if you look at it you see how it has a little bit of a color to it but i'm going to show you a trick right now if you smack this over here you should see a little bit of dirt although mind you my filter is not that dirty again Let's show you guys a comparison. I can assure you it's the same filter. They just make them a little skinnier now. You guys see how it is different? Now, before you install the new filter in, uh, if you can see inside here, my uh, box is actually usually very clean, but you always have a little bit of uh, debris on the bottom. Dusting. Sometimes you'll find all sorts of things that... Uh, We'll keep the uh, children up at night. How do you take care of that? Well, this is where your vacuum comes into play. You grab the vacuum, you turn it on, and you go for it. That's it, look at this. No more little creatures scaring the little children. You see? You catch all the little things. <laughs> Once you're done with your vacuum, then you can grab your new filter, just like before. Slide it this way, like so. You always want to make sure it's flush on all four corners. Okay? Once it is flush, you just lay it down. There's really nothing to this. You Trust me, you can do this at home. We will definitely get to the more elaborate things, but you just change your engine air filter, just like that. So you always come to the passenger side. You wanna open your glove box, you obviously you're gonna empty it out. And you're gonna have this door back here, two tabs on the top. You press them down one at a time as you can see i just did this one-handed so it's actually not too bad and once you do that you have now access to the door for the cabin air filter so now again two tabs one here and one there you press them in ever so gently and work it out look at that very easy and now you can then remove the filter. A lot of the times it might be a little hard to get it out, but if you kind of, I don't know if you see what I just did there, grab it by a little bit of this fur that it is, you should be able to get it out. Now, guys, my filter, as you can see here, uh, not that dirty, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it next to the new one. And I mean, I don't have to tell you guys, right? You can see the difference there. This filter is only a year old because I change mine once a year, but as you can see, it is definitely dirty. Putting it back, it's very simple. You see how it says up 
you want to face that towards you and obviously you face it up and you finish it off by reversing everything back close it up like so very simple you put your door back by installing the bottom first and that's that you put your junk back in the glove box and you're done now i want to show you guys perfect example brought this filter home from work uh, what happens if you do leave it there for three four five years guys you, this is the the air that you breathe goes through here you do not want to let it get to this point change it once a year it's not that hard i just showed you how to do it and you'll be uh yeah getting some fresh air inside the cabin instead of this uh stuff oh guys and before i forget of course as always here's the part numbers so that you can get your filters from the dealer but if you don't want it from the dealer feel free to get a cheaper one at a parts store just on the cabin air filter my personal opinion don't go way too cheap because then they turn into an accordion if i find an actual picture i'll post it right over here because i didn't have one but uh, don't go too cheap on the cabin air filter please do stay tuned as we're just getting started i got a ton of more maintenance tips coming your way some uh, super easy some a little more elaborate I've had some people throw me some uh, suggestions. Don't you worry. I didn't forget about you. They are definitely coming. And uh, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to show some love. And I will catch you on the next one.